much of publishing is about reusing page elements. And the more systems that you create to help you in that task, the more productive you will be. And in the last movie, I showed you how you can create InDesign libraries to manage a lot of your objects that you're going to repurpose or reuse throughout multiple documents. And now I want to talk about snippets. And snippets are yet another more effective way to reuse content here in InDesign. So what I want to do is I've created uh, just a real simple layout template here using the Crop C kind of reverse and the CBRE logo. And I want to highlight both of those elements. Now I could just use one, but that would be kind of like, what's the point, right? We have a library for that, and if we wanted to alternatively do a snippet for each one, we could. But I want to be more effective, so I'm going to use this kind of as a page layout snippet. So after I've highlighted the both, I'm going to go up to File and select Export. And I want to make sure that in the Save As type, I select InDesign Snippet. And I want to give it a name. So I've named this one Brochure Layout 1 dot IDMS, which is an InDesign snippet, and I'm saving it to our InDesign project files, and I'm going to click Save. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. I'm going to change my view settings or my display performance to ensure high quality display. So now what I can do is go up to File, Place, and browse to my snippet I just saved in my projects file. And that's going to kind of give me a preview of what I have going. So if I wanted to, I can click and just place it wherever I wanted. I'm going to hit Control Z. And now I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And then I'm going to click. And by holding down the Alt key, the other nice thing about snippets is InDesign remembers where it was located on the page when you created that snippet. So here it is located exactly where I wanted it to and I can begin creating my document. Now this works great, you know, if you are using tables or that sort of thing that you're going to reuse um, over and over again, just a wide range of uses here for snippets. Now I can also use this with Bridge. So let's close out this new document where we created a snippet here. And what I want to do is open Mini Bridge. Now, alternatively, I can go to the full size bridge if I wanted to do that. But I like to use Mini Bridge when I'm working in InDesign. And we are going to focus on Mini Bridge in more depth in a later movie. But for now, I'm just going to show you the real basics. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight both of these items. And I'm just going to drag them into Bridge. And I'm going to drop it. As I do that, let me expand this window a little bit better so you can see it. I'm going to drag or kind of row down. Here's the first snippet that we created. And here is the one that we just dropped into InDesign. Or into Bridge. Bridge automatically turned this into a snippet for us. So we can reuse it in our document. I'm just going to call this Brochure Layout 3 and click out of it. So now all I have to do that I have this snippet, if I know where the folder is in Bridge, I can simply just drag it and drop it onto my document. So this is a really great way, if you think in terms of library and you think in terms of snippets, that you can be most productive here in InDesign because everything is laid out for you.